welcome to my channel, which is Underwear Locks, for a very special recipe today. traditions. In some cultures and religions, they would serve these cakes with wine as a offering to their ancestors or to the dead. In other religions or cultures, they would be giving, given out to kids who would go around from house to house singing and praying for the soul of the person giving them the cakes and for the souls of their friends and family. So today we will be making some of these traditional soul cakes. So you can have them as an offering at your Halloween, Samhain, All Hallows Eve, whatever you are celebrating this month to celebrate the dead and give these out to your friends and family. Now obviously, there's probably not gonna be a whole lot of trick or treating this year and even if there was, you can't really give these out to kids anymore because you can't really give out homemade things. Nobody trusts that. But these are a great treat to have at home to give to your loved ones and to give as an offering if that is a part of your religion or tradition. So we're gonna be testing out a recipe I found from a website called Vegan Kitchen Magic. I liked this recipe because it stuck to a lot of the traditions of how the soul cake is made and what it's made with. And of course I'll have the full recipe linked below to that website so you can grab that and make these at home. But before we start conjuring up these cakes, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a like on this video. For this recipe, you're going to need all-purpose flour, sugar, milk, I'm using oat milk, yogurt, I'm using forager, butter, I'm using Miyoko's, vanilla extract, baking powder, salt, pumpkin pie spice, coarse sprinkle or decorating sugar, and either raisins or dried cranberries, I'm using dried cranberries. So the first thing we're going to do is whisk together our dry ingredients, the flour, salt, baking powder, and pumpkin pie spice. left. It's about halfway through October so I've been using this quite a lot. I make my own pumpkin spice mix but I'm out of ginger so I am hoping that this is going to be enough. If not I'll just substitute cinnamon for the rest of it honestly. Like we had enough. Perfect. Okay. Just going to gently whisk this together since I put it in a bowl that is probably too small, but that is okay because it's not going to stay in this bowl. You really just want those spices baking powder evenly distributed throughout the cakes. Okay, and we're going to set this aside. Now, I am going to do this next part with my mixer, but you do not have to. You can use a hand mixer or you can do this part by hand. It will just it will just be quicker and easier for me to do it in the mixer. So, if you have a mixer, use it. If not, you can definitely do this without. And if you're using a mixer, you're gonna need the paddle attachment. So 
So we're going to cream the butter, sugar, and vanilla together. Butter and sugar is all creamed together. Go ahead and add your yogurt. And we're going to mix that until it's thoroughly combined. going to add one third of our flour, turn the mixer on low and mix that in, and then we're going to add half of our milk, mix that in, back to our flour, milk, flour. So it's going to go every other three times with the flour, so we're starting and ending with flour, and then twice with the milk in between. to magically move through time. Okay, it has been 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and get this pan ready to go. Just 
throwing a baking mat on it. And I'm gonna grab the dough. We are going to turn the dough onto a floured surface. going to press the dough together. I'm not kneading it, I'm just pressing it together. And we're going to roll our dough out to about three quarters of an inch thick. to dip my biscuit cutter or in this case cookie cutter because I do not have like a real biscuit cutter so this is what we're using going to knead the dough again. We're just going to press it together. Depending on the size of your cutter, you'll have a, either a couple more or a couple less, and that's okay. Now with a very sharp knife or an X-Acto blade, a decorating knife, whatever you have, you're going to score the top with the traditional cross. Now we're gonna take a little bit extra milk and brush the top of these with our milk so that then we can put the sugar on top and it'll stick to it. My sugar is blue because that's all that I have, but definitely use whatever color you'd like. And once again, we're going to stick these in the freezer for 20 minutes before we bake them. I can barely fit a full sheet tray in there. Not lengthwise, but like wide, it's kind of like sitting at an angle, but it's fine, everything's fine. The pan's in there. We're gonna turn our oven on now, that way it's ready when the cake's are ready to go in the oven. It has been 20 minutes, so now I'm gonna pop these in the oven. just move them to this wire rack to finish cooling. They are nice and golden brown and they'll have a nice hard crust. These look so amazing. I have to admit my partner and I split one while it was still warm and they are so delicious. They kind of remind me of a cross between an 
I was thinking about this when I while I made the dough. They remind me of a cross between a biscuit and a shortbread cookie. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this recipe today and I hope the spirits enjoyed this recipe for these soul cakes just for them. Let me know down in the comments how you're celebrating Halloween this year or Samhain or All Saints Day or whatever you celebrate. Let me know how you're celebrating this year because I know everything is a little bit different with the Rona. I am still having a small Halloween party with only the people that we have seen during quarantine. So that way I can give my friends the opportunity to do something on Halloween and I can cook some food for everyone. I'll be making some videos about that in the next coming week or so. And these would go great with a pumpkin spice latte. So go ahead and check out my pumpkin spice syrup recipe from last year. I'm gonna link that above and below because we all need a little pumpkin spice and everything nice. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss a delicious recipe. And I'll see y'all for our next spooky recipe. Bye y'all.